Good morning, everyone. I hope your day is going well so far. It's a beautiful sunny day. We had big storms yesterday. Oh my goodness, and lots of rain. But that's good for my veggies. I wanted to tell you about a tradition that I have had for many, many years. Regardless of where I've lived, I've done this. Whenever a loved one passes away, someone that I truly love with all my heart, I like to honor them by planting a rose bush. And over the years, I have planted way too many rose bushes. But I do that to honor them, pay tribute to the fact that they were a rose in my life. I plant the bush, I name it after them, and I'll insert a little clip of one that I planted for my sweet sister-in-law, Diane. And I took this little video of it, a very tiny video of it, to show her children because that was the first bloom and spring of her rose. And I know they appreciate it very much. But I have roses all over my property. White ones, yellow ones, deep, deep red ones, pink ones. And like I said, I have too many. But that's something that I have done all these years. And I don't know, it makes me feel good to pay tribute to them and plant something so beautiful. You know, you could do that too if you wanted. You could plant roses like I have, or maybe some kind of shrub, or maybe a tree. I know a lot of people plant trees to honor someone who has passed away. It's just a wonderful thing, and you look at it as it grows and flourishes, and you can't help but thinking, think of that person that it represents and how they were so important in your life. I remember one day I was working with my roses and we had an old storeroom on this property and it was an old dilapidated mobile home and we kept tools and mostly junk but my working tools and things in there and so I went in there one day and I got out the hoe and the rake and the um, other tools that I would need to work with my roses and around my garden. And as I was going out the door, I decided to leave the door open because I was going to be bringing an armload of things back shortly. And I went ahead and I worked in my garden and I worked a couple of hours, I guess. So I went back to take my tools and put them up. And it had great big windows in it that were windows, those sliding kind that you slid to one side or the other. And I always kept them closed because I didn't want the rain coming in. So I walked in there and I put my tools and I was on my way out and something caught my eye over by the window. And I looked over there and there was a baby hummingbird and it was sitting on the ledge of that window and it was trying with all its might to get out through that glass and it just couldn't get out. And I realized it had come through the open door. And if I had left it, it would surely die. So I walked over there and I very, very carefully got close to it and I took my hand and it didn't it, it wasn't afraid. It wasn't afraid of me at all. It just sat there like maybe it knew I was coming to help it. I don't know. I reached my hand out. I put it and cupped it over that little hummingbird. And I picked it up. And oh my goodness, I could feel its heart just beating to beat 60. Oh, bless its little heart. It was scared. It was going to die. But I had it in my hand. And I've never held a hummingbird in my life. Have you ever held a hummingbird? I can't even tell you how precious that is. 
So I walked to the door, turned my hand over, and opened it up, and it kind of sat there for a second or two, and then suddenly it flew away. And I felt so good about that because I had saved its life, and those little hummingbirds are so precious. I love them, but it I've never ever heard of anybody holding a hummingbird before, and it wasn't afraid of me either. And every year, a hummingbird visits my feeders. I don't know if it's that one. I hope it is. But I make sure I have fresh nectar out all the time. So the purpose of the story is to tell you how wonderful our blessings can be when we least expect them. I planted roses for the people I loved. And I get to view them every single day and watch them grow and watch them be beautiful just like the people were who were in my life and that darling little hummingbird that was just an absolute bonus that day such a blessing and so precious just like you were precious you're precious to someone and you have people who are precious to you and I hope you will honor them in some way I didn't plant a rose for my husband when he passed away Instead, I made an entire flower garden, and then you can refer to it in a video. I'll, I'll have it linked to this video, but it's my precious husband's memorial garden, and I absolutely love it. So that's all I have to say today. I hope you have a wonderful day, and as always, I hope God is good to you. Thank you for stopping in. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.